So it looks like the world's biggest game just got an update that's optimized for M1 Mac chips. Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So amongst all of this fantastic Mac gaming news, we finally gotten an update to the official version of Minecraft, which now uses the native ARM version of Java rather than the slower Intel version of Java running through the Rosetta 2 translation layer. This means that publishers like Microsoft are finally taking the M1 Mac chip as a serious gaming platform and have dedicated resources to get this game working to the maximum possible efficiency on Apple Silicon Macs. So today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft 1.19 and also how to get mods and shader packs working with it too on native ARM. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So all we need to do is to go to the minecraft.net website and I'll leave a link to this in the description. And then what we're going to do is to click get Minecraft and then we'll click on computer. And if you haven't purchased Minecraft already, you can buy Minecraft now. Or if you've already purchased it, you can go ahead and click the login button here and then you can log in with your Microsoft or Mayan account. And once we're logged in, we're going to click get Minecraft again, go back to computer, and then we can click the download button here now. And we're going to go ahead and download the launcher for macOS. Click allow. Then we're going to go to finder. Then we're going to go to our downloads folder and we'll find minecraft.dmg, double click. And then we'll click on Minecraft and then drag it over to the applications folder. Then we're going to go back to Finder, go to applications. Then we're going to find Minecraft here. We're going to double click. Here we'll press open. And then it's going to head and do an update. And now the Minecraft launcher is open. What we're going to do is log into our account. And once we've entered our password, we're going to log in now. And now we can load up Java. And we have the latest release here, which is 1.19. So to get into a game, all I need to do is press play. And then it's going to download some assets. Now we have Minecraft 1.19 loading up in the background. Here we've got the menu coming up and now we can play the game as normal. What you'll notice is that the Minecraft launcher, which is loaded into the background, is still an Intel application. So that loads via Rosetta 2. However, you'll see here that this is the Apple kind of Java, which means that this is the M1 optimized version of Java, which is the main reason that Minecraft is gonna run much faster than it did before. So in terms of playing the game, all we need to do is to go ahead and press single player. We're gonna enter a new creative world and create this. And now we're able to play the standard version of Minecraft. So now I'm gonna quickly show you how to download and install shaders and also other mods for the ARM version of Minecraft 1.19. So the very first thing that we need to do is to install Fabric. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. We're gonna go ahead and press the download button here and then we're gonna download the universal installer. In order to launch this universal installer, we're going to need a version of Java installed. So I'm gonna leave a link to Azul's native ARM Java. All we need to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page. We're gonna find Azul Zulu version 18. And this has been built as a native ARM64 version for macOS. Here we're gonna click on the .dmg file here. And then this is gonna be the Java installer. And then within Zulu, we're gonna double click. And then we're gonna double click on this installer. Press continue, continue, and then install. Type in your password and press install software. And now that's done, we're gonna press close press keep and now we can double click on the fabric installer and here it's detected Minecraft version 1.19 we're going to press the install button here and now that's installed press ok and close so now we're going to download some useful mods so the first one is going to be sodium here we're going to press download button it's going to download sodium we're going to download iris shaders as well we're going to leave a link to all of these in the description and then we're also going to get fps display as well so we can see our frame rate so once all of those are installed what we're going to do is to select them all then we're going to control click on them to copy them. Then we're gonna to go to go, hold down the option key to reveal the library, click on library, scroll down. Then we'll go to application support. Then we're gonna to go to Minecraft. And then we'll scroll down here. And then if we don't have a mods folder, we're gonna control click on a blank space at the bottom, click on new folder, and then type in the word mods. Then we'll double click on our new folder here, and then control click on the space, and then click paste three items. So now those three mods have been installed. We can go ahead and test this by clicking on Minecraft. And now you can see that the fabric loader has been installed. We're gonna press play now. And now that our game's installed, we're gonna go ahead into our single player game and then go back into our creative world. So now you can see our world has opened up. You can see the frame rate counter in the top left, which is our frame rate mod. And we're getting hundreds of FPS on the M1 Max chip. If I go to the settings menu here, go to options, go to video settings. I've changed the render distance to 12 chunks. There's a quality and performance settings. And what we can do now is to try adding shader packs. So what I'm gonna do is to minimize this window. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this list of working shaders on Apple Silicon Max. If you scroll down, you're gonna find lots of different compatible shaders. However, I'm gonna use the most common one, which is Silda shaders. I'll leave a link to this in the description and press download. And the one I'm going to be using is Silda's Vibrant Shaders 1.32 Lite. Press download. Once we get to here, we're going to press skip. And then we're going to download this file here. Press download. And if we go to Finder and Downloads, that's come as a zip file. So you don't need to extract this. Here we're going to go back to Minecraft. And then we're going to open the shader folder pack. So we need to deposit any shader zip files into here. So I'm just going to drag and drop this. If you want to add more shaders in the future, you can just press the Option key and you'll see the full path. It's under the same Application Support Minecraft folder under Shader Packs. 
And once we go back in the game, we can refresh this list and we're gonna go ahead and select the light version here and press apply. Now I'm gonna maximize the game and you can see here we've got shaders. This is running at 1080p on the M1 Max chip. And as you can see, we're getting close to 150, 200 FPS running on the M1 Max chip. So running the vanilla version of the Minecraft 1.19 launcher is not the only way to get native ARM Minecraft working on the Apple Silicon Mac. Arguably, it's better to use Many MC, which is a native ARM fork of Multi-MC. So one of the big advantages of using Many MC, amongst others, is the fact that you can launch any version of Minecraft for 1.16 or above as native ARM, whereas the official launcher only supports 1.19 as native ARM. If you want to find how to get this to work, I recommend checking out my Many MC tutorial. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorial videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.